season ahead, and we're off in week two. And no run back here on the opening kickoff, as we'll start at the 25. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. I think the hope was to let him sit and learn for a bit, but he was thrown right into the fire in week one. Now we'll see what kind of lessons he's learned as he prepares for his second start in the NFL. Throwing on first down, McCarthy. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Up the middle, Jones. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. The numbers on the ground for Jones last week, pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy, he's got this one complete to Sherfield. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. Uh -huh. He is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense, and hopefully springs a receiver or two for him. Here's a second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. And they'll stay on the ground with Gainwell again. Oh, he breaks a tackle and he's got an alley. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. The Eagles had 0-1 on the year following the loss in the opener. And listen, they knew last week they were in for a tough fight on the road. But now here's the home opener and a chance to get things right. And I like the way that you presented that because the bottom line is they didn't come out of that loss discouraged. They just came home and said, hey, if we do what we're supposed to do, protect our home turf, we'll be just fine. On first and ten, it's game well. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Strike, they'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. The numbers for him from a week ago, and you figure that he'll probably be a big factor in this one as well. No question about it, partner. We just saw it right there. They want to get him the ball in space and see what he can do after the catch. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Vikings are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at their own 37. 
And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The end result, 21 yards. Now a handoff. Running left is Jones. And he's got it to about the 40. You look at his eagle defense. They enter play here 24th in the league against the run. And being able to set the tone early in this game because when you get down to it, it's that sign that we saw in their football facility when we visited with them. The one that said no explosives, no big plays, no trunk plays. That's what they've got to take care of. 31 yards there and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. On first down, McCarthy. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Back to the air on second down, McCarthy. And that is incomplete here. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass and you blew coverage up, what did you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk in out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wanted to throw it real thorough with that. It's cold, cold <laughs> have a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And they'll try and run forward game well. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. And yeah, the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Nothing after one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. Ball at the 33, second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. Throwing his hurts. Going deep here for Parker. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. From the gun, it's Hurts. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Brandon Powell deep from Minnesota. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 33. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. And they were winners in the season opener Sunday. Now they get the quick turnaround game here on Thursday night. But 
CD, you say this is an ideal setup for him. Why? Well, it's just the way the schedule lines up because everyone's got to play a Thursday game, and that's because of competitive balance. So, let's face it, would you rather play week two when you're still relatively fresh and excited about the season? Or week 15 when you've had a season's worth of bumps and bruises to factor in, and who knows what your record might be at that time as well. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback in the playoff position, you have to be. He just acts like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. It is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A good throw there, and this is a quarterback who's still just getting his feet wet, obviously. And by most accounts, last week played okay in the victory. But I want to know, Charles, what was your impression of his play last week? Brandon, I think a lot of teams would be happy with okay. And early on, it's less about how many touchdowns did he throw, but did he not throw interceptions? Did he handle adversity? Did he handle the hole? Those types of things, that's what people are looking for. And really a nice job there to make something out of that run. Sidestepping defenders for a pickup of four. To throw on second down, McCarthy. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. To throw on third down. McCarthy, and that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Losers in the season opener on Sunday. They get that quick turnaround 96 hours later. Here we go. They're back at it. And I've got to think, especially early in the year, that's a good thing for these guys, is it not? It absolutely is. And we've seen it many times demonstrated over the years. Teams have a rough opening game, have to play the Thursday game. That quick turnaround allows them to go ahead and throw the other game out, focus on the new one. And typically, they play much better in game two. So I would agree with you totally on that. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. End up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be Vikings ball first and ten. They'll start out on the ground with Jones, and he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Looking to throw. McCarthy. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop it. 
But he just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan? Introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They said a load a big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. And here's Rodgers on the return. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one. We out execute them. We can walk away with a win. It's a game of Brings up second and a yard. Second down, here's Hurts. Incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Call it a gain of five as they move the sticks. And they really needed to get something done, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game was starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. This is second and eight. Brings up second and eight. Hurt sets up to throw it. A throw to Parker complete on the slant. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. And he's able to break out a one tackle but then quickly brought down. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Well, this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. Well, they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them at the end zone as the first half winds down. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw again. touchdown here of the new campaign and the Eagles have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead that's almost just not right you cover everybody but those tight ends they can be awfully reliable very reliable and defense just has to hate those guys it just drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them they have either with size speed or maybe even just strength Elliott good on the extra point, and they take the lead here at seven to six. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. On the return is Brandon Powell, and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? And taking it across midfield and 
just shy of the 40. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. That is into the hands of Hawkinson downfield. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him out at the one-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. And even 40 yards. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about. A lot of touchdown Vikings. T.J. Hawkinson from a yard out. And the Vikings will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. His first career touchdown pass, and, you know, it's cliche to say, but he's probably been envisioning this since he was a little kid. That's a cool moment. It really is. So enjoy the moment. Enjoy the time. Celebrate. Save the full reflection for later. But make sure you grab someone on the sidelines and say, hey, make sure I get that football, okay? The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this a six-point game. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. Here's Isaiah Rodgers to return. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. They're going to look to throw. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That's good for an Eagles. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Forced out to his left. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. To throw again on second down. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. If Goddard doesn't miss five games last year, there's a good chance he gets Philly a third 1,000-yard receiver. Just getting better and better, now entering his sixth season. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. And that'll be dumped off to Gainwell. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. Touchdown! Devontae Parker in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. And just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Elliott on for the extra point. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. So this drive spans seven plays. And Devontae. 
Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Well, look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get that. He's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 61 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. An exciting run there by Gainwell. This is shaping up to be a breakout year for him. Philadelphia loves what he brings as a do-it-all back in their run-heavy offense. And this season could be the one where he becomes a name known to fans nationwide. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes. He could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. They go play action with Hurts. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. About three yards there to the 27. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Got him in, it's Brown. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 16. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. set and race it going three wide's a big deal to go five how about the way that they finish things off <laughs> did you just fit a race car reference into the game zoom zoom how about the way that you play when you go five wide that means you're going fast now zoom zoom indeed elliot good with a pat and the lead is up to eight And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he's stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And Hawkinson going to have the Vikings first down as he'll get this up across the 30-yard line. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 31-yard line. 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Well, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. And they'll begin on the ground with Gainwell. Shoves him aside. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now again, a run with Gainwell. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Off the play fake, Hughes Hurts. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now, things looking much rosier for them here in week two. They work with the lead as they've got it first and ten. And that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 23. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Hurts. This is Smith with a ground. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A well-executed 22-yard game. Gainwell is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it was Kenneth Gainwell who finished it off with a touchdown run. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Vikings head out to take over once again. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Throwing to start the drive. McCarthy. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Here's second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Off the play fake. McCarthy. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. I don't care if you're taking it around one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. 
lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, McCarthy. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Rodgers to return it. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Eagles offense returns to the fold, and we get a closer peek at Kenneth Gainwell. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Throwing his hurts. Goes right back to Smith again. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. But first down, Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. It's caught, Smith. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 20-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. From the gun, it's Hurts. Yeah, he's got it. And he's brought down after a very nice game. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with... And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Kenneth Gainwell with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Eagles have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. Eagles 35, Vikings 13. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And out now come the Vikings. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest.
Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The Vikings on third down. It's been a problem, just one for seven thus far. This is third and ten. And this is what here? Incomplete, they say. Looked like it was intercepted, but he apparently did not get the two feet down in bounds. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Uh, no reason not to try it there. They do indeed convert on fourth. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now a second and 10. They'll look to throw again. Gets this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. From the 22 now, here's second down and three. And inside give to Jones. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first and 10, McCarthy. A quick throw there is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And operating from the gun, McCarthy. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Vikings have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Throwing on first down. McCarthy going underneath. He's got Hawkinson. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy looks again for TJ Hawkinson, and he's got him again. 
And Hawkinson going to have the Vikings first down as he'll get this down inside the 35. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw again. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Back to throw. McCarthy. This one brought in by Jefferson. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Looking to throw. McCarthy. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score games still. They start the drive here with Gainwell. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. On third down, it's Gainwell. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Oh, the return is Powell. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down by 16, a little under a minute 50 remaining. Somehow they need to come up with a pair of touchdowns and two two-point conversions. Throwing to start the drive. McCarthy completes this to Jefferson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. On first down, McCarthy able to find Jones. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he is caught. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back to throw. McCarthy. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 40 yard line. Throwing again. McCarthy. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Looking to throw, McCarthy. And this is going to be incomplete. That means it's just one chance left and this has to be a first down or a touchdown or this game's over the decision made for them they've got to go it's fourth down as expected they're going for it to keep the drive alive and this is intercepted and that should do it picked off by reed blankenship there he goes left side takes this one back into the end zone, and the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD.
Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. You have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense call, it will make a nice play on the ball, and that's all she wrote. Elliott on Elliot for the on extra for point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles come up with a late turnover. But it would probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. The partner under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So for Philadelphia, they make amends for their week one loss by winning their home opener. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, they will fall to one and one. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.